For the vast majority of people, if they're speaking about hypothesis, they are hoping to getting a yes. And if they're getting the answer, no, it's not relevant, they have no idea what to do, right? And just proclaiming the next hypothesis they want to test, meaning the next trial and error message, <laughs> they are trying to, to see if they're getting lucky or not. This is not how you should do it. Let's speak today about hypotheses in MBB interviews because the vast, vast, vast majority of people is getting this completely wrong because they are confusing a hypothesis-driven approach with a trial and error approach. Because a hypothesis is something that stands at the end of a systematic thought of opening up the solution space, explaining the different avenues you could now take to solve a problem and then prioritizing one specific avenue, right? And giving a reason for this. This is a hypothesis. A hypothesis is not speaking about the first best thought you're having and then trying to explore this and asking the interviewer if this is relevant or not, right? So before, and this is really, really, really important, before you narrowing down the solution scope, open it up systematically. Speak about the ways you're thinking about a specific question. What would be in the solution scope theoretically? And then adapt it to the concrete context at hand and make sure there is a clear hypothesis at the end of that discussion. And not start with whatever random hypothesis in a let's try this, yes or no, let's try this, yes or no, let's try this, yes or no fashion, right? Because this is guessing. This is not like driving systematically a hypothesis that you then can test something with. Because every single time you're stating that you have a hypothesis, there needs to be a clear plan and way going forward if the answer is either yes or no. But for the vast majority of people, if they're speaking about hi hypothesis, they are hoping to getting a yes. And if they're getting the answer, no, it's not relevant, they have no idea what to do, right? And just proclaiming the next hypothesis they want to test, meaning the next trial and error message <laughs> they are trying to, to see if they're getting lucky or not um, navigating the, the case question at hand, right? This is not how you should do it. So remember, a hypothesis is at the end, after you have opened up the solution space, after it is clear what you want to test up on, right? And once you are clear on that, you can also have a hypothesis that you can test with a yes or a no at the very end, right? And you will know exactly how to continue based up on the answer in your structure. A hypothesis is not just proclaiming one specific topic or statement or bucket or whatever, and then uh, not knowing what to do with this if the answer to this is, is not relevant. That's not a hypothesis. That's just like guessing based up on one or two ideas you had. That's the difference. <laughs> Sorry for being a little bit more theoretical today, but uh, since I've seen this uh, in this week's <laughs> um, feed on, on YouTube quite often uh, with other uh, self-proclaimed experts, let's make sure you are clear on that. Let's go.